Good morning, Paxon Travelers. I'm in central Germany right now, close to the airport of Frankfurt, staying at a friend's house in the Rhine River area, mountain area, which is super beautiful. Let me show you. Here's the church, the little town. And I'm gonna take you to Mauritius today. In a few hours, I'm gonna fly with Condor, the 9,200 kilometer flight, which will take us about 10 hours, 45 minutes, 11 hours. And my bags are packed and I'm ready to go. Condor D314, 4 p.m. So our aircraft, Airbus 330neo. Check out the new design by Condor. Some hate it, some love it. It's quite unique. Bienvenue sur Ile Maurice. Welcome to Mauritius. This is the Le Palmist Hotel. Three and a half, four star. Quite nice. And after being almost three hours in the bus, I'm gonna have a nap now. Good morning Mauritius, the first full day in Mauritius and we're gonna go to the breakfast, check out the breakfast, this is Le Palmiste, we have a beautiful room here and we're gonna discover Mauritius now. I always do very old fashioned, I do a list, things to do in Mauritius. I watch some vlogs, do some online research, what I like, what I don't like and do you guys do that too? You also do a list on your travels. Bonjour. This is the breakfast and I love this Indian chili here, the green chili. I ordered that. It's very spicy. We are gonna check out a scooter rental to get a scooter for the next two weeks. Okay, wrong way. We 
still need to wait about 20 to 30 minutes for the manager of the car scooter rental to come. So um, I figured we're gonna use the time to get a haircut. I always like that at the beginning of the vacation to have a relaxing start and follow the footsteps of Passport Heavy, a very good travel vlogger as, as well. So let's see. Actually, he's doing a very good haircut here. We just arrived at Vicomte Scooter Rental at a very nice, charming Subash here, who's getting our scooter for two weeks. At the first beach, Onslare Beach. Windy beach, I think we have just arrived at one sightseeing spot at Cap Malheureux. It's the church Notre Dame Auxiliaire Traf. <laughs> Check out the market at the Grand Bay Bazaar. Good for buying fake clothing. The giant supermarket. Grocery store, you can do also something for your spiritual soul, the Ganesha. Like at the hotel, and bought some spiritual things in the grocery store make the room nicer and it's a Ganesha how do you like it so if you have this half board food you need to train so I'm gonna check out the fitness center so here we go So I just arrived at Port Louis, the capital of Mauritius, and I'm on the way to the Blue Penny Museum with Blue Mauritius, this famous million dollar stamp. Blue Penny Museum.
very spectacular. That's the real blue merch is for three or five million dollars. Just finished the Blue Penny Museum and we just saw the original Blue Mauritius stamp and yeah, quite boring. <laughs> but the exhibit was quite beautiful. Um, so yeah, check it out, support the local museums and yeah, have a look at the five million or three million dollar piece. the Indians and all the Bollywood fans and movie lovers I think everybody knows who that is the god of India Amitabh Bachchan I've seen him once life in Mumbai when I lived there Beach at the Car Carvel shopping mall, which is super nice. Oh, sorry, it's called Cascavel shopping mall. Super nice shops, food court. Vegetarian Chinese noodles with spicy sauce and egg. The noodles are 135 rupees, which is about 2 euros 80 and 60 rupees for the drink, so all together four and a half euros. So, we just arrived at the world famous Flick on Flak beach. Let's see how that it's like. So, I always go diving with my goggles here and what you need in Mauritius is always wear these um, swimming shoes because of the corals. You will totally smash your feet um, if you step on the corals without the swimming shoes. Even though it appears no corals, but there are a lot of corals on the, on the ground. Um, so, and a little advice, if you go snorkeling, you always have the problem with the um, milky steam vacuum um, air inside, right? So there's a little advice from my side, um, from my diving school in Egypt. Get yourself this ecological, of course, um, detergent for washing dishes. So you put a little cream inside the goggles, put it here before you go, let it dry for two minutes and wash it off, and then you have totally clear uh, clear sight and view. I want to show you the money of Mauritius. You have 1,000 bill, which is the highest, I think. It's about $20. 500 is $10 or euros. And then you have 
200 as well. I don't have 200, but 150 and the smallest is 25, and then you have the coins. fruits what kind of fruits do you like I personally love papaya mango and pineapple are my favorites so we're trying some Mauritian food Parada and Aluda so this is an aluda, like a milk drink typical in India and as in Sri Lanka as well. And this is a parada, parada, and with vegetarian tomatoes and curry inside, spicy. Let's check it out. It's very cheap actually. It's, it's uh, I think 50 rupees, uh, one dollar. One question to you guys. Have you ever seen that kind of a plant? Anybody knows what kind of plant this is? A name? Never ever seen that in my life. Something similar, but not this type. Okay. We were about to go to the botanical gardens and to the beach afterwards, but doesn't look like it pretty heavy rain and quite cold to be honest the rain stopped finally so gonna get some stamps for the postcards to send for the loved ones at home. C'est ça, le président du Mauritius, de Maurice, et pour timbre international, c'est... Just arrived at the botanical garden. <clears throat> and here's the entrance fees for Mauritians is free, for tourists, non Mauritian citizens, is 300 rupees, which is about six, seven dollars. <laughs> bon appetit! Mm. Oui. <laughs> the pigeons, no, the bird lady. This is our guide, you can make a tour with the group for two euros. In one hour. Finish, baby. Finish. Finish. No, no. He has the habit of eating with me. He doesn't have to eat with me. Fish tail, Paul. Fish once. Fish tail from Malaysia. It's not that natural, okay? Just discovered a giant spider as big as my hand. It's very hard to spot, but here. This is a parasite plant, very popular in Europe as well, to have at home. Super expensive in Europe. This tree is 250 years old. 
I wish you guys can smell this. This is like mental oil, like in a sauna called camphor. Extremely nice smell, like you would be in a sauna. So this flower will give this, okay? So this is a sausage tree, or we call it the African calabash. The biggest leaves I've ever seen. Check the size. One leaf is four times bigger as a human, or three times. The lotus flower is... 150 de petites fleurs dedans. So 150 tiny flowers in it. This is a complete flower. And this one you can see from here. If you come here, you can zoom on this one. The bud inside, the knosper, starts to open from the outside. They are between 90 to 110 years old. One is called Domino, like Kim Basinger in the James Bond movie. <laughs> She's a bit slow, right? <laughs> okay, the deer just peed and he licked it. Look. If you wish to have a snack after the bot botanical garden, here's the Mahagoni shopping mall with a food court. Quite neatly done. This is not a five star hotel, this is the mall. Quite impressive. for the hotel we have another one hour to go on a scooter don't forget to wear these um, warning vests or whatever you call them uh, it's obligatory in Mauritius after dawn after 6 p.m. at night time you have to wear these for security there can you see the other bats there still sleeping Hello froggy
Good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning and we were supposed to go on a boat trip to go swimming with the dolphins in the ocean. But unfortunately, the tour was canceled today because we have a weather warning for very high waves, strong current on the sea. So uh, four or five meter waves. But the weather is good. So um, we decided to go to Le Morne, to the mountain or to Le Morne Beach, that famous beach. And the light is coming up now. Uh, no, okay. Uh, I'm trying to teach them how to speak real. Yes. So, new alpha and two means let's go for a ride. Okay, merci monsieur. De rien. <laughs> this is the last part of the route. What everybody said on Google is like the very bad part for your rental car. Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> but it's only one kilometer. So I would eat, I would strongly recommend the scooter is much better. Or you walk. So the last 300 meters, the road is so bad that we can't even go with a scooter. So we decided to walk and yeah, <laughs> just walk. And for the entrance point of the trail. So this is the parking place. And here's the access route, the access trail to the mountain, Le Mans, the UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is the entrance. We have to climb up this mountain. It's a little bit like King Kong Island or Jurassic Park, like Hawaii. In Hawaii, where it was actually shot. So it's 9 a.m. Actually, we want to be here by 8 a.m., but so much traffic it took us more than two hours. With the car, you would need three hours. If you're coming from Trubisch, the north, northern tip of the island, north east, we are in this very southern point. So we did the first half hour, the first observation point. So we have the first 45 minutes and this is the first viewing point. I would say 150, 200 meters high. Check this view. The other view on the other side, also spectacular with the mountain range here. So here's the last base camp for the regular hikers and also for the professional mountain climber. We're gonna check out a few minutes if we can manage or not. So for the professional climbers, as you can see them, are going with their arms and legs up there. here super steep like yeah we just saw one lady coming down 
with a broken arm. So don't do it if you're not in a super good shape and if you're not a mountain climber. So this is Le Morne, the mountain peak behind me. And this is the last point of the basic camp. Um, we decided not to go up there because uh, we just came across one lady who had a total broken arm, totally in pain. I offered some painkillers, but she said like, it's really crazy, very steep, only for professional mountain climbers. So um, why risking the rest of the vacation <laughs> being in the ER? You have a fantastic view from the basic camp anyway. So this side and on the other side. And yeah, base camp takes about one and a half hours, two hours, depends on your condition. And I would suggest like four hours to the peak. So we're gonna head down now. And yeah, I mean, it's your choice if you wanna go up, if you're in a really great shape and, but don't go with sneakers, um, hiking shoes, a must. And yeah, um, I mean, we don't need to prove anybody, oh, we did the peak just to show off. Well, we prefer like um, to be safe. <laughs> so this is either a scenic flight with a helicopter or a rescue mission <laughs> for somebody, I don't know. So this is kind of ironic. I just finished the video telling you to be very careful to wear hiking shoes. And I'm wearing for the basic route only tennis shoes and I just slipped I twisted my knee a tiny bit and my arm bleeding and just put some water on it not not bad but yeah even for the basic route you should wear some hiking shoes it's beautiful jungle nature Spooky, in the middle of nowhere, a statue. Probably has some historical meaning, I don't know. Or just art. He has a mango or papaya in his hand, I think. And we made it to the parking again. So all in all, to the base camp and return. Relaxed is three hours. Not to the mountain top. So, just finished the hiking, just got changed with some fresh shorts and shirt for the beach. We're gonna go now grab a snack at um, Le Morne Public Beach, that fantastic, um, famous beach beneath the rock here. Isn't that like in South Pacific, the movie? Like Bora Bora, Fiji or whatever. Check the scale of these waves. There's a sign like this. So, they're on the way to Ganesh Shaturi. 
So we just arrived at the Montchoisy beach where the celebrations should take place for Ganesha's birthday, Ganesha Turti. Today the water is much better than the other days. Very crystal clear water. There's some sh chanting going on and they put the statue of Ganesha and clay into the water. The guys there, we just missed it unfortunately. This is Montchoisy Beach. So let's go into the crowd and check it out. Ganesha into the sea again and I missed it again. <laughs> 